All right, comparing rational numbers. In example one of comparing rational numbers, we're given all fractions and uh, a couple mixed numbers, and we're asked to compare them as being less than, greater than, or equal to. When we have fractions, we have a couple options. We could convert them to decimals, but the easiest way when we have fractions, in my opinion, is to go ahead and just put them over a common denominator, uh, preferably the least common denominator. So with negative 3 fourths and negative 2 thirds, what we have for part A, what is the least common denominator or least common multiple of 4 and 3? Well, that would be 12. So in order to get 3, or in order to get 12 with the first value, with 4, we would multiply by 3. So what we're looking at is negative 3 fourths equals negative 3 fourths times 3 over 3. So we can get 12 in the bottom. And that ends up being negative 9 twelfths. With negative 2 thirds, we have to multiply both the top and bottom, the numerator and denominator, by 4, because 3 times 4 equals 12. So negative 2 thirds times 4 over 4, which equals negative 8 twelfths. Now we have to be careful with, uh, with negative numbers, because the more negative it is, so the greater the numerical value uh, of the fraction, or the greater the absolute value, it's actually less. So since negative 9 twelfths is less than negative 8 twelfths, that means negative 3 fourths is less than negative 2 thirds. 1 fourth and 1 third. One thing we could recognize is that when we have the same numerator, the greater the denominator, the less it is. So we should recognize right off the bat, 1 fourth is less than 1 third because they have the same numerator and the denominator is bigger. We're dividing by a bigger number and therefore the result is going to be less than. But we'll go ahead and put them over a common denominator just to verify this. So 1 fourth, again we have 4 and 3 as our denominator so we want 12 as our denominator, the least common multiple of 4 and 3. So 1 fourth times 3 over 3, which equals 3 twelfths, and 1 third equals 1 third times 4 over 4, which equals 4 twelfths. And 3 twelfths is indeed less than 4 twelfths. Therefore, we verified what we started with. 1 fourth is less than 1 third. And again, same numerator, different denominators, and the value with the biggest denominator is going to be less than, or the value with the, the smallest denominator is going to be greater than the other value. All right, part C, we have 7 ninths and 3 fifths. So what is a common denominator of 9 and 5? What's the least common multiple of 9 and 5? Well, it looks like what we're going to be looking at is 45. Multiply them together. So 7 ninths, how do we get 45? We multiply by 5 over 5. That equals 35 40 fifths. 3 fifths, we multiply by 9 over 9, and we end up with 27 40 fifths. And since 35 40 fifths is greater than 27 40 fifths, we know that 7 ninths is greater than 3 fifths. All right, with part D, we have mixed numbers. We have a couple of options with this. <clears throat> if, the, if the whole number portion of the mixed number were different, we wouldn't really have a comparison because if the whole number portion is different, then whichever one of those is greater is going to be the greater value or whichever one of those is less is going to be the lesser value. So really, since they're the same, we're comparing 5 6 and 4 fifths. We can rewrite that as 1 and 5 sixths equals, what's the least common denominator of 6 and 5? Well, if you don't recognize the least common denominator, you can always multiply them together. And sometimes that is the least common denominator, which is the case here. 6 times 5 is 30, so 1 and 5 sixths equals 1 and 5 sixths times 5 over 5 which equals 1 and 25 thirtieths. 
and then one and four fifths equals one and four fifths times six over six, which equals one and twenty four thirtieths. Four times six is twenty four. So since one and twenty five thirtieths is greater than one and twenty four thirtieths, we know that one and five sixths is greater than one and four fifths. Alternatively, we could make this a uh, a, a mixed or a, a, sorry, an improper fraction and then compare. Uh, but we'd essentially be doing the same things. We'd just be dealing with bigger numbers in the numerator because we'd be looking at having that one in the numerator instead of in front. And, and since the the ones are the same, really we're, we just need to compare the five sixths and the four fifths. And we could have done that even without the one because all we were doing is carrying the one over to the next part. Uh, but again, 1 and 5 6 is greater than 1 and 4 fifths. So again, to compare rational numbers that are in fraction or mixed number form, uh, we simply take the fraction and put both of the fractions that we're comparing over a common denominator and then compare them looking at just the numerators.